Hey YouTube, so we got uh, our bathroom getting ready to go in here. What we're going to be doing is leveling our floor. So our house was built in 1885. And um, of course back then they used all these uh, 2 inch by, you know, full size, full dimensional lumber. Um, none of the half inch or 3 quarter inch stuff we use today. But um, we had a lot of sagging here in the middle of our home over that much time. So what we're going to be doing is leveling this floor so we can have a nice level surface to put our new subfloor in in our bathroom here. Uh, we're going to have our laundries going to be over here. So you can see we got that actually in the bedroom right now so that we can actually still use it. Um, we got our uh, air vent for our uh, lower bathroom there along with our heat register in this room. Um, because of where our sewer line is, we're not able to um, have that run all the way out to the outside wall. So it's kind of just right in front of where the fire would be basically. Um, but you can see we got our laser set up and what we have is we're, we're cutting these shims to essentially take up the space on the inside of the wall or on the inside of the floor that is um, that, that's quite a bit lower. Um, this first shim here that we cut is about an uh, inch and a half low over an eight foot span um, from the exterior wall all the way to the interior portion here. Um, and you can see we cut that back all the way into where it ties into the bedroom. Our subfloor is gonna go all the way right up to that. So what we got is we're gonna have the three quarter inch subfloor, uh, quarter inch door rock, um, and a quarter inch uh, tile on the floor here. And that's gonna get us pretty close to the, the top of the floor there and lining us almost up exactly. You can. You might be able to see it here. Let me let me kick the light off real quick and be able to see the laser a little better so you can see what we're working with. Um, let me get this hallway light here real quick. So here's an idea of what we're looking at. So you can see the laser. I know you can't see the room itself, but that outside board on the far wall, uh, straight ahead there, that is perfectly level. Then all of our joists along the exterior wall on this side are all perfectly level on that end so from that aspect everything is good um, but it's on this interior wall where we actually have varying degrees of um, height the closer we get to the outside wall the less it's sagged the farther in we get the more the more that uh, those joists have sagged um, upwards of an inch and a half um, for the farthest one so what we're going to be doing is again cutting these shims uh, gluing and screwing these down um, so that way we can go ahead and put a three quarter inch tongue and groove OSB plywood on. We'll kind of show you our progress as we go in a couple little other videos. Um, one of the things I didn't show you here real quick, so so yeah, so there's, there's our sewer line for the bath. And of course, we got our vent stack running up. Um, the nice thing is when they put this in, they put uh, one of the uh, diverters in for the water sure drain. So that, that drain there is actually gonna run all the way over here along with the water lines. We're gonna tie into the the washer water lines and we're going to have a vanity there uh, toilet here and then this is going to actually get changed we're going to bring this in for a center um, drain um, shower we're going to figure out a way to run these water lines up um, because right underneath this 2x4 wall plate here is a joist so we can't run those water lines up through the wall we may actually have to build like a small wall out so that way we can actually have somewhere to run the water lines up through to uh, to then have the shower installed, which wouldn't be a big deal. Um, I mean, it's going to take up a couple inches of space. Not a huge thing. Um, it's just going to look kind of funny with the, with the door entry there. So that's where we're at. Um, we'll keep you posted as we go here so that we can see kind of what we got going on. Um, but if you like the content, I appreciate you giving us a thumbs up and a subscribe. That'd be awesome. So thanks, guys.